Hey, it's David Wowie from Another Eden Adventures. How you doing? It's Another Eden Global's fourth anniversary, and to celebrate, they have just announced a new global first unit. She's a badass vampire, and she uses her allies as literal shields. And her name is Iffy! Here's her trailer. Stay on after the trailer when I lay out her stats so you can decide if you should pull for her or not. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this show. Here's the trailer. Squeal like the whelps you are. A banquet for me? <laughs> me travel with you. <laughs> now, Shu, I've got a nap to take. Hmm, yes. So here's her story. Unlike her global first predecessors Melissa and Eva, Iffy has a brasher, bolder personality. Our community manager Scott revealed her artwork and character design which, not surprisingly, is very European just like the origins of our popular vampiric lore. One standout part about her design is the coffin she carries on her back. What a mystery and isn't it crazy she has a gun, vampires with guns baby, need I say more? From her artwork and gameplay, her bat pet seems to be her unique animal companion which is a very common thread with a lot of another Eden's major characters. Yuka Sato, the designer of Iffy, firstly said that he loves her softly curled hair, which is an interesting thing to say, and that her story is very, very wonderful. If by wonderful he means it's anything like Melissa's and Ava's story, I can't wait to cry. Mizuki Hiratami, Ify's character quest scenario writer, hints that there will be a twist in her character quest, which I'm betting is the great reveal of who is in her coffin, which is none other than Samora! But enough of Samora, let's look at Ify's skill set. Let's start off with Blood Contract, a skill where your teammates are sacrificed. Ify can grant Blood Contract to one ally if she's in the front line or when using her Walpurgisnacht skill, which is a really bad pronunciation, apologies, which apparently means the Witch's Knight in German, by the way. This ally with blood contract granted on them is used as a shield, and that poor fellow absorbs all that's meant to be inflicted on the team. If that ally is tragically knocked out, blood contract is consumed, and that ally returns to full health. So in this example, if he uses blood contract on Cyrus, if he gets lunatic, then Cyrus literally takes it for the team, he dies tragically, but then, like a miracle, he gets resurrected instantly. One twist with your ally dying is that if they have any buffs, debuffs, or are singing in that turn, they won't be cancelled. So what does this mean in plain English? If an enemy inflicts an instant kill hit on all your team, None of you will get hurt for one turn, it will be as if nothing happened whatsoever. Plus you get the benefits of Lunatic. Now let's complicate things. Whenever Ify uses Blood Contract, she gets one Seance stacked. The more Seance she gets, the more powerful the following two skills become. Firstly, let's look at Nocturnal Procession, which increases the power, speed and intelligence of all party members by 50%. If you have two Seance stacked, you will increase this buff effect and double its duration. Next we have the skill Ecophilia. Eco in Greek mythology, which is where some sources say vampires came from by the way, means something that flows like blood in the veins of gods. So this skill basically means the love of blood. It deals 3 XL shade type attacks on all enemies 
ignores target's defense and guarantees critical. The strength of this attack is increased the more Seons you have stacked, allowing up to 3 stacks. And when you reach 3 stacks, you activate Shade Break on all enemies, which means the damage of the next Shade attack is doubled. Her skill, Rosa Liliac, makes her one of the best Pain and Poison setters in the game as it permanently grants Pain and Poison to all enemies in the game despite their resistances while also decreasing their power, speed, intelligence and type resistance by 35% and this debuff can further increase the 50% depending on how many seance she has stacked. How much better can you be in this game? In plain English, this skill is really good firstly because a lot of players use Pain and Poison Grasser to be more effective in battle. And the only way the Grasser works is if the opponent is in either in Pain or Poisoned. And secondly because it greatly decreases their resistance against elemental attacks like Shade Attacks. If you're a newbie and need help understanding Grasser, check out my full guide which I'll link below and explains it all in plain English for you. Lastly, let's look at, once again, sorry for pronouncing this horribly, Walpurgin's Snuck, which puts all other party members under blood contract if there are no characters that have it yet. The point of putting everyone in a blood contract is that if you make three party members human shields at once, you get three seances instantly, which maximizes the effects of the skills I mentioned. The next thing Walpurgin Snuck does is that it preemptively deploys Shade Zone, i.e. Biting Shade Stance, and boosts magic damage on all party members depending on their max MP for 5 turns. So imagine how strong your team can become if you have powerful magic users with you like Ava and Flamelopus. When in Biting Shade Stance, it changes all party members attack type into Shade type until the end of turn. So if you're all in water, for example, if you have Ava and Flamelpus with you, instead of using water attacks, they will use shade attacks. Which can be a good thing given that if he lowers the enemy's shade resistance, it may not always be as effective if the enemy is weak to another element, such as water, for example, and you really just want to destroy the enemy with a water element. So, will I be pulling for Iffy? Obviously, I will, because my shade team definitely needs some love. And Iffy's skill set is phenomenal at this point in time. Her blood contract skill can essentially make you invincible for at least one turn, and her buffs and debuffs can really put you at an advantage. But what I'm mainly hoping for also is her unique story. If her story is anything like even Melissa's stories, then I'm hoping we'll be in for an emotional ride. Can't wait to cry and pretend like I didn't. What do you think of Iffy? Will you be pulling for her? How would you use her in your team? Don't forget to like and subscribe my friends. See you soon and much love.